so this is a requested video so as you can see there's a guy come in my live stream and then he just comment me that bro will you please make a android game development you 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 e4 as a beginner okay let's make and also thank you so much for five dollar patreon samir also if you want to support me you can uh give me patreon in my patreon link in description along below okay so let's start so first of all uh for android game development uh, the, you need to first of all know that uh, in Unreal 4.27, you can't make game for lo lo super low end device. Kind of like just think that you want a you want to make a game that which support only one GB uh, RAM of game or two GB RAM of uh, only a two GB RAM of mobile uh, that mobile have a uh, low or uh, very old processor. So your game will be not work. There's a super lag because in Unreal Engine uh it's not available uh, the old version supportable processor or super low device supportable uh system okay so for that you need to use that 4.25 or you can use uh, 4.26 to 4.25 i guess 4.25 is better for the lowest end devices if you want to make game for low end device okay but for now let's use 4.27 so let's set up the third person then for mobile you need to set the mobile tablet and the started content you need to set non started content and in maximum quality uh, you can use the 3d and 2d because the 3d and 2d give you more performance like more good performance and at here you can give your name anything whatever you want your project name and will be do in blueprint not c plus plus so let's create okay so as you can see the game is now start create and it's done if i click on play so i can play the game but there's a problem this game have now the pc inputs we want some input for mobile so what you can do go to project settings and then go to basically you can search here that mobile and here you find that always show touch interface and here set basically the virtual joystick if it's not enabled like that so what you can do basically go to content browser and click on view option enable engine content and plugins and now let's go at here and let's as you can see you find the left virtual joystick set up this that one and once you do that at here search that mousc mouse so here you need to enable that use mouse cursor enable that was nice now if you could click if you play if you click on play you find like this you can control the player by with joystick so it will be work in our mobile for touch system like this thing what you need to do is basically you can uh basically follow my tutorials that uh unreal engine android touch system so you can search that unreal engine uh android touch system so if you search this one so uh you can ch check this video that android touch system even you can see that this one that android pubg like input so you can do you can also watch this video for make that so i already have that course so i'm just doing right now the copy paste and yeah it will be for now it will be you know for save my time so you find like this code what you need to do coming go in third person and instead of your third person go to uh even graph and just remove this code that turn base and also make sure you remove this uh you don't need to remove that one um it's for the word uh this one so we don't need this and also we are compile and save and now paste uh i'm sorry i need to copy that again so copy come at here click on ctr plus v and click on do nothing and enter so as you can see you find the all the codes now update position remove then write again that update upd uh if it's why it's not coming compile first uh at here it will be ask you to remove this one so remove this code okay and just promote a variable and compile save now from that move search the update post click on here basically this speed connected x with x y with y and compile and save now let's click on play so as you can see with android touch you can now create this thing okay like we can control this player by using our android touch okay now let's learn that how you can basically export this game for android so for exporting this game for android first of all make sure that you bake the light because that is super important for the mobile game okay because you need to give the light 
map build data so just click on build okay like this thing so compile and save so if you go in now third person then maps you find your light bit build data and your map now just think that you want that there's a two map for like this there's a one more map okay that is uh, map two okay just think that you have uh, another map that is pretty similar like this thing but it's have some level change for you uh, understand that yeah it's a uh, map two okay so let's understand that this is a map two let's be the light data also it, it will i guess it's not will be take super time okay so as you can see the map has been baked okay so let me remove the character because i don't need the character even for this character uh, i remove this one make sure that you set up your this thing in correct position because it's very important and basically your start position okay so now you have a question bro i set up that i want that if i am third person map so if i press any of button or if i go for now at here it will be go in map 2 so when i export my game how i set up this map that it will be included in my package build data so for make that system you can give here that a target box for educational purpose for now i'm showing you that this target box okay so there's a target box okay it's not visible in so for uh, visibility what you do details and there's a hide game i just disable this so you can see that this one so i want that if i now inside of this thing so it should be open a new class so go to open level by class reference with that you can go to call function collisions uh sorry and add collisions even begin overlap that is basically our cast to third person character so it will be what will we do it will be open level by class reference that is basically our map 2 okay that is the map 2 okay so basically what we did we did that if we are near of this collision so what will be it will open the next level for us so as you can see it's open okay so now let's include this package data also in our build so go to settings that project settings make sure you set up your sdk ndk jdk if you don't know how to set up so you can search that unreal engine android uh, as the dk and dk setup okay and there you find my this tutorial video even this tutorial video there's a tons of my tutorial video is available so you can check any of them so just watch and just you know do that and then make sure go in android set uh, sdk just click set up your sdk and dk and jdk once you do that go to android config now you can give your com dot package name data so make sure that you write first of all com dot in a small letter then write whatever you want and once you done you can write your game name at here for now that you for test mobile and then you need to give that package game data inside of apk yep and then you can set up for mr64 and valcon okay and that is for setup enough if you also want that icon for your game setup so you can customly set up from at here that was very nice then you need to go to packaging and then inside of package you can set up the development fully build and disable the pre-registration includer and then go at here and here you find that list map that package build data just double click and make four because once is for the map so let's pick up the map that is in our third person maps and that is our third person and map data second that map a uh, light big data so light build data and the, our second map is basically third person map map to data and the the map to open okay so that is basically okay so that's why you can basically package your game data and it will be work 100% make sure you click on only uh, maps that affected on the google okay so it will give you more better result now saved and now file packaging android estc and just export your game for android that's all i just hope you understand that how i did to package your game data or how to make a android basically a game or develop a game uh, for android uh and how we can export so thanks so much for watching this love you all bye bye see you next video